introduce Kyle. So Kyle is the volunteer and family mentor coordinator for the International Rescue Committee in Silver Spring. He will be presenting an overview of the International Rescue Committee and opportunities to get involved in with special attention to the internship program. Kyle joined IRC in 2019 and is passionate about creating a welcoming environment in the DMV for refugees and immigrants. So I will turn it over to you. Thanks so much. Awesome. Thanks, Katie. And just want to make sure that you all are seeing uh, not the presenter view, but just the presentation. Yes. Okay, great. Awesome. Um, well, thanks for the introduction. And thanks, Katie and everyone for being here and joining me today to learn about the International Rescue Committee and uh, particularly our internship program, the main way uh, for students and recent graduates to get involved in our work. Um, it would be great uh, if you all could begin to introduce yourselves in the chat. Um, if you can just include your, your name and why you're joining the session today. So maybe a question that you have or what you're hoping to learn. My name again is uh, Kyle Monsies. I'm our volunteer coordinator here at the International Rescue Committee in Silver Spring. I uh, first came to the IRC as an intern. Uh, so I'm very familiar with uh, the responsibilities that you all will have uh, as interns and can definitely speak to uh, the really impactful experience it was on my professional growth. Uh, it definitely led me to want to continue to work in refugee resettlement and with a couple odd jobs in between eventually made my way back to uh, working at the IRC. So like I said, uh, just go ahead and if folks can introduce themselves in the chat, that would be great. Just your name and what you are hoping to learn today or why you are joining today's information session. Next, I'm going to give you all an overview of the International Rescue Committee um, and that way you'll have kind of more of a context for organization and then I'll talk about the ways that you all can get involved. So first, uh, as a kind of trivia question, uh, does anyone know who founded the International Rescue Committee? Feel free to um, unmute and share if you know or if you have a guess or you can type in the chat. So who founded the IRC? Does anyone know or does anyone have a guess as to who founded the International Rescue Committee? Guy, I saw you unmute, but if you said anything, apologies, I could not hear uh, what you said. No, I was not saying anything. I don't believe, I know, no, I don't think anyone knows. <laughs> no worries. So we were founded by Albert Einstein uh, in the year uh, 1933. So as a follow-up question, uh, why would Albert Einstein, the physicist, have founded an organization that today serves refugees in 1933? Uh, so why at that time? It was um, when things were picking up in Germany before World War II. Yes, uh, so that's definitely a big part of the historical context. Uh, would anyone like to add to that? So it was right around the time that um, <clears throat> the Nazi regime was coming to power in Germany.
So the rest of the reason is um, kind of in the context of uh, Hitler's rise to power in what would become Nazi Germany. Uh, Albert Einstein uh, fled uh, Germany as a refugee, ended up in the United States in 1933, and found an organization to help those now suffering under Nazi rule to escape. Uh, later, during the Second World War, uh, the organization began helping those all over occupied Europe, um, fleeing both persecution and conflict. So we tell that story because uh, it remains the mission of the IRC today to help those whose uh, lives and livelihoods have been shattered by conflict and disaster uh, to survive, recover, and gain control of their lives. However, the scope of our work has now expanded to all over the globe. The IRC works in over 40 countries around the world, providing humanitarian relief in areas of active conflict in places like Afghanistan and Syria, in refugee camps like in Uganda or Lebanon, and finally in the United States as a refugee resettlement agency. Refugee resettlement agencies are responsible for uh, assisting all newly arrived uh, refugees for the first several months and years uh, while they're in the US to provide housing, access to employment and education, and enrollment in things like uh, healthcare. So those are all the things that we do at our office in Silver Spring and at our other 25 offices around the country. Before I talk about our internship program, uh, does anyone have any questions about uh, the work that the IRC does, uh, either domestically, internationally, or kind of what that work is looking like right now? Uh, because there is definitely a lot of um, attention around uh, the issue of refugees in the United States related to the uh, evacuation of Afghanistan and U.S. withdrawal and Taliban takeover in that country uh, since last August. Um, so any, before I talk about internships, any questions about that or anything else? And same thing, feel free to post your questions in the chat or unmute and ask a question. So Natalie asked, how does international work look right now? Uh, so the IRC's work internationally is predominantly led by um, individuals and the communities themselves in which we work, um, assisted by some international staff. Uh, so it is very different from uh, what we do in the United States. In the United States, we uh, are connecting individuals to existing services. For example, the IRC in Silver Spring doesn't run a school. We just enroll children in the local public school system. Whereas in Pakistan, the IRC actually runs schools in refugee camps or provides um, food assistance or actual um, health services to um, people who have fled conflict. So. Uh, the international work is uh, more humanitarian and international development, um, being the principal difference between uh, the work that the IRC does in the United States. As far as I'm aware, there are limited or no internship opportunities to work internationally. Um, there may be some opportunities in Europe, uh, but in most of those international locations, um, it is either all volunteer work, which is typically led by host communities, um, or paid staff. Any other questions? All right, 
So there are a number of different uh, opportunities for both individuals and groups to get involved in the work of the IRC. Uh, however, the main one I'm going to be talking about today is internships. <clears throat> if you all are interested in uh, employment opportunities or other volunteer programs, uh, you can definitely reach out to me or ask questions in the chat. Uh, but the main thing, like I said, I'll be talking about today are internships. Several things to note about our internships. Uh, they are a significant time commitment. So they are at least 15 hours per week up to full time on the academic calendar. So we have internships in the spring, the summer and fall uh, for between three and four months or so. And for the summer, uh, this coming summer, 2022, uh, we just posted those internships this morning. Uh, so I definitely recommend all of you to uh, review those opportunities and apply. As of right now, those opportunities will be mostly virtual. Um, however, it is going to be a program with a program decision based on um, whether there are certain activities the interns will perform that need to be in person versus ones that don't. So I can give you an example. Um, our housing and casework program uh, set up apartments for our clients. Uh, so for that type of work, it's more physical. You'll need to be in person to do that. Uh, for our employment internship, uh, you'll be writing resumes, uh, helping clients apply for jobs. That work can be done almost exclusively virtually. Um, so there will be a mix of those opportunities. If you are in person, it will likely be hybrid, um, not necessarily 100% in person. Um, and going off of that, uh, all of our, um, we offer about 17 different internships just at our office in Silver Spring. Uh, so there are many different ways that you all can get involved in our work. Um, those internships line up with the different functions that the IRC performs related to employment or education or housing. Um, and you can see all of those opportunities through our website online. Uh, a couple of other things to note. Uh, all of our internships are unpaid. Uh, but I definitely encourage you all to uh, work with Penn State um, to see if there are funding opportunities for you, if that um, is of interest. And as a tip, I would encourage you, if you're really interested in internships with the International Rescue Committee, but don't necessarily know which of our programs would be the best fit, apply to many. Um, the way our screening process works is you will apply and then you'll, uh, you may get contacted for an interview with the program. If you perform well in the interview, then you'll be extended an offer letter and we do a background check and a reference check and then you'll get started. Uh, but for that screening process, the interviews do not happen centrally in our office. So the more programs that you apply for, it is the more people's eyes who are seeing your application. Uh, so. I definitely encourage you all to apply um, and apply to, to multiple internships. So that is the extent of my presentation. Uh, so I'm going to stop sharing my screen and just open it up for uh, questions. If anyone has questions, you do have access to your camera and your speakers. And I am going to go ahead and stop recording.